So this is one of my older games. In hindsight, this game is crap. However, at the time it was a classic, tough bosses, quick action, all centered around the main fish, Blobby. Anyway, this matters because when I saw the week-long fish fest, I knew which fish had to make a comeback. I also wanted to check I didn't fall off and end up producing a worse game than the original, which was literally made in scratch. For the sequel, I wanted to improve the game, as I love boss rushes, but I felt this game was very slow and wasn't that fun as you had to follow the cursor as you shot, which made a horrible control screen. However, before the gameplay, the fish needed a glow up, so I put it into the art style I've been spamming for the last year, and the side comparison shows. I mean, nothing really changed. It's like the same design. I mean, yeah, it's not really a glow up, is it then? <laughs> no, it's not a glow down. I mean, like, maybe. Nah, that's not possible. I then added this sprite into the game and kept it simple this time with WASD controls. Boss rushes are my favorite genre, so some inspiration was taken from Cuphead. Specifically from that game, I wanted a dash, and so I got it in. Then I added in some slow shooting, then sped it up, and I was starting to see the vision. Then experimented with some larger bullets. I mean, it didn't really work. It kind of looks goofy. Then it was time for the opponent, the boss, which is a pirate in a ship who has a bird on his side. To be honest, I have no idea where this original idea came from. Anyway, this was made with flat colours and no details, and specifically for this game, I was sticking to only using rounded rectangles. However, in hindsight, I have a couple problems with this ship. I mean, firstly, it doesn't even work, like there's no chance this cell ever moves the ship, it's so small. And this boat is low-key so cramped, I mean, like who's actually buying this? Aside from that, I made the background with a rocky wall to contain the fighting, as well as that some seagrass for decoration. I then added this wall into the game and some flowing water, as well as that I made it onto two layers, so this blobfish has this cool effect when between layers, and it adds a bit of depth to the game. Then I forgot to record some progress, but I was kind enough to remind myself of that, including doing a bit of leaf. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. Anyway, using the same joint system from the previous games, I was able to animate the bosses through this way, and that would include just splitting all the limbs and bits. Mm, that's pretty creepy. I had different animations, one was for sailing the seas, one was not noticeable, and one was... <laughs> what? <laughs> one was not noticeable. Okay, I guess. One was for the bird shooting, and for whatever reason, it's called bird spitting. Although, it does make sense, as now in the game, the bird shoots as he spits at you which yeah that's nice and this bullet goes to the player's location so you always have to move i also made it so the waterline appears on the boat oh yeah and the boat follows the player because i mean i guess we couldn't see that one that's a nice one anyway it smoothly glides to the player to do one task and that is to drop one explosive anchor considering i also only had one week to make this game i don't know why i did it i went and made a celebration animation for when the boss won this wink though i mean that's just like what <laughs> Why is he winking at me like that? I changed that straight away to a blink. In the original game, when you died, you died like a cartoon. And not forgetting this is a sequel, I decided to bring it back. And to top it off, the pirate celebrates when you die. The two combined attacks were now causing some fun as it starts to become challenging avoiding the anchor and the bird. Anyway, after this, I stopped recording for real until the game's release, or I lost it. Anyway, the jam was seven days, however, overall I only had three days to make it, so I assume I just crunched to get it out and that's why I don't have any footage. Overall, it resulted in the final post on the jam. Now, right off the bat, there is an actual play screen I added. I managed to get all the seagrass in on the side and now they swerve left and right. The boss actually takes damage and specifically the pirate flashes to show. As well as that, when dying you get a retry button, but above all, there are now clouds. Also there's a dying animation for the boss, but I mean, that's, I mean, clouds is cooler. But let's just admire those clouds. And yep, that stillness is actually the game crashing. <laughs> yeah. On the web version, it just crashes after beating the game. A nice way to reward the player by letting them stop playing the game. However, on the Windows build, at the end, there is a nice surprise because it doesn't crash. And it is this physics defying plane. To be honest, I just don't know how to animate the flying, so I was just kind of stuck with that. As well as that, uh, I kind of realized the ship is unfortunately trapped in the fight. I mean, how did they get there? That's a question for the dev. Is it? Overall, I thought it was a good game. There is no audio whatsoever, however, I liked the art and the gameplay was fun, if sure. However, I started to realise something. The first game I made was only made in 48 hours, and it was better. It had voice lines, it had 5 bosses, I mean, it was clear I literally fell off. My whole point was to check if I was better, and I wasn't. Then I got the results back from the jam. It placed in the bottom half and 2.5 rating, and meaning it was one of the worst jam games I have made in a minute. 
Okay, I'm overreacting. The profile picture was cool. And I actually didn't really care too much about the results or like me falling off. I just thought it was a good game. And one of the reasons I wasn't too upset is because I knew the game wasn't finished. I knew it would just be disrespectful to make a sequel and only produce one measly boss. I felt like it was my responsibility to add at least one more. However, first, I had to stop deving for like a long hour time, which is the 100 day disappearance. Um, yeah, I was just gone. Anyway, eventually I returned and this time, I was going to finish the game. Firstly, I started designs for the next boss. So introducing the skeleton spaceship. He's in this UFO with a bit of camouflage, I guess. It's green. Now does that make sense? Then I wanted a level transition and it just made sense to use SpongeBob's water bubbles. So I put that in and there is a newer boss. The cyborg turtle. If you flash back to the OG game, there was a turtle boss. It puts its shell and spins the block on Bobby. Anyway, I felt like the sequel needed a returning boss. However, this time I decided to add a twist and make it cyborg. What really made the old boss challenging was its speed and its small side, which made it hard to actually hit. This time I decided to repeat the same trick and we have a speeding turtle again. You may have also noticed it has a turret on his head that also shoots. It releases this rocket and haunts the player and doesn't leave it alone. No, okay. It's actually supposed to blow up and then it releases these little pellets like a shotgun. And just like that, that was one boss finished. The difficulty of this fight is definitely aiming at the boss while always moving to avoid the rocket or while the boss moves a lot. However, while making the next boss, I encountered a problem, a copyright threat. I mean, genuinely the entire time I've had this character in like my IP, I guess. I always liked this character. But when going back to the old game, I found this troubling page. I'll have to be honest, this came before my game. This was made in 2015 and this was some sad news. I mean, this blobby literally has more drip and flair than mine. Like, it's like, I'm getting little bro -ed. I mean, would, like, that would make my new game the third one and the old one the second. This, like, this was kind of sad. But then I realized mine's got the duh instead of the ver. So don't worry. I mean, I, like, I guess it's a cousin. Oh, that's, no, that's kind of weird. Let's just not read into that too much. Like, just fish. Anyway, after that scare, it was time for the skeleton spaceship previewed earlier. There are lasers on the right, so I decided to use it to shoot out bullets on the side. Here is this satisfying animation of this nice shaking effect when shooting them out. Also, with the skeleton in the middle slamming the shot. Then I went ham with the bullets leading to this. To explain it, there is two lasers making an X on each side of the ship, and at the bottom is a laser that swaps out between different versions, and that shoots out different types of bullets. This kind of fills up the screen, and in my opinion is the best boss as the screen just gets full. Now it was time for some sound. I just added the bare minimum with a bubble sound effect and a dying effect. Then I went into the lab and made some songs. Although it was a difficult build uh, with it breaking, eventually now it's out but maybe a bit laggy. With that, the game was done. And what I think is a worthy sequel, it had three bosses and a game, I think that looks good. Although it's very short and considering I haven't play tested it, it might be very easy or very hard or a bit buggy. You can get trapped at the bottom, just like dash upwards. That being said, I like some designs. Yeah, this has been a video. Appreciate the growth and currently on 703 subs. So if anyone wants to be 704, cool. If you want to see how I made a game out of letters, click here. Goodbye.